the most important thing for a young person. There are many business ideas that they can come up with. One of them could be property. Mm. I'll say to them, do your own research. Mm. Learn as much as possible. Try to find out if the, the market is not overpopulated. Right. You'll think there's, there's, there, there are beds that people still need. But once you get in there, you'll find no. The market is it's, it's, it's full already. Good evening and welcome back to the first time home buyer show. As you heard tonight, we're talking to a super fan who's gotten extensive information from our private property podcast as well as doing his own and he's taken that leap of faith and invested in student accommodation. That's Sammy Moringa. I'm sure you've seen him before on the screens on our other podcast. And tonight I finally get to sit down and chat and talk to him about his story into property. But before that, of course, you know, we've got amazing content coming to your screen live every weekday this week. We've got Zaman Tungwakumal with the private property podcast. That's live at 7 p.m. every Monday to Friday evening. And of course, if you're interested in agriculture and farming, we've got Mbali on your screens every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. And without further ado, Chad Vavieros travels in Zanzi, looks at mansions, townhouses, apartments all over Johannesburg. And that's every Monday and Friday evening at 8 p.m. Without further ado, I come to your screens every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. And tonight, Sammy Moringa is with us absolutely excited for the show let's dive into it good evening sammy how are you good and you good thank you so much sammy before we even jump into your property journey um you of course you watch all the shows and i'm absolutely Every excited show. i think we are now sitting on 300 and yeah on zama show almost yeah, 350 yeah. actually yes, we are, we are, and we are first time home buyers growing slowly hopefully we reach 100 soon um so i like i like that you always you know interacting with our shows and i'm sure you've learned a lot but i'd like to end off the show with that you know some yes, of the lessons okay. you've learned with our private property podcast before that sammy tell us a little bit about you you know um you're always on the shows you played the game show the other a few weeks ago but we've never actually known who sammy is okay sammy it's a young man born in mokopani mahwile ring yeah my mom passed away around 1999 december then we buried her i moved to my aunt in marble hall then you know due to some challenges i wanted to achieve uh, because of I've always seen my mom used to do good in business and everything. Then I decided I need to come to Pretoria. No, I started as a taxi driver first. Mm. I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah. But I was driving like my own taxis. From there, then I met my beautiful wife. Uh, after meeting her, then that's where she inspired me to achieve more mm. with what she has achieved, understanding her background. Then we, we started working together with many things. Uh, we bought a first property in Sushanguve, mm. but it's, we sold it now. We sold it because when we moved to Philip Nell, after selling the property, then you know the up and downs, the work, not finding work, you know, sometimes growing up is not a little bit easy, trying to get one, two, three going. Then, but with the property of Philip Nell, when we first saw it, because mm. she's the one that sold the property, then I, I thought it was an achievement for ourselves mm. to be in Philip Nell next to town, seven minutes, eight minutes drive. There's a university next to it. I was even thinking about my daughters. They will just walk to school to, yeah. and stuff like that. Not thinking that one day we'll talk property. Mm. But here we are today. Mm. Here we are today. I like that. And you know, one thing I always uh, promote and talk about and one thing I learn that's a common thread in a lot of the stories from some of my guests is the support. You know, and you spoke so proudly about your wife have, being there, supporting you through this journey, educating you as well. You know, you always need that, some, that person who's going to push you to achieve. And sometimes in life, you know, uh, bad things need to happen in order for us to realize, no, I now, now, now need to achieve something different for my own family. Yes, you are right there. You know, you know life is a journey. Mm. We, as a young people of this country, are allowed to make mistakes. By then, I was young, mm. even though I don't want to reveal my age now. 
<laughs> I was young then. Mm. We were allowed to make mistakes, but mm. don't make mistakes that will cost you. Of make mistakes that will educate Teach you. you. Mm. We know we want to have fun. We want to mm. go out. We want to drive to Cape Town, to heaven, to do mm. whatever, to one, two, three. Make sure you experience such, because that's how life is. Mm. Then make mistakes, but make mistakes that you will be learning from. from. Don't just go out there, because while you are growing up, you are seeing people that... They, they, they made their own mistakes and some they can recover from that. Exactly. And try to avoid such exactly. as, as an individual. And one thing I've also learned, especially in this industry, is when you make a mistake, try not to make the same mistake. Uh, that's, you know, that's kind of the point because you need to learn from them and it's you so important. You need to learn from them. That, yes, there's a lot that we're still going to talk about. I know. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll I want to find there. out, I know that you said, you know, you got into property, Philip Nell, and all of those things happened, but what else informed your decision to take that leap of faith into property? You, you know, I was driving from home. Mm. I think I went to visit my aunt. Then I was driving from home, then I saw another property in Sushanguvi. Mm. It's not far also from the University of Technology, Swani. Then what I did, I got interested in. Then we drove, we, you know, agents, I called the agent, we mm. met. When we got there, there were some stories, you know, mm, mm. So some stories for me to be able to not view the property. Then she just made a one phone call and they, they found another property that I said, okay, let's go and, and view it. I think it was, it was like even three minutes drive from there. We went mm. to see it. Immediately when we got there, I was impressed with the property then, but I had no idea then about properties. Right. I had no idea about properties then, I, but I thought I can make it with the little money that I was trying to save. Because mm. the most important thing before you get into certain things, the money save. that you are saving for renovation and stuff like that, it will assist you more. But if you buy new developments, then it's an advantage for you. Yeah. It's an advantage for you, then yeah, you, you, you'll, you'll make it easier. I like how you say the most important thing is to save. And, you know, we deal with a lot of people around us currently who are struggling to save. Mm. Um, what would you say, besides saving, another important point or a lifestyle change that we need to take on to become a property investor? What else would you say we need to think about on I this think, property I journey? I think to think about, you know, with property, what, I, what I've learned is you need to start practicing it like following people that are into property, looking for mentors. I mm. think you one, uh, once had, uh, interviewed Mr. Witness Mdaga. Mm. Yes, he's one of the people that I look up to. Yeah. In the lockdown eras, you mm. remember 18 months, 19 months ago, he was every day on Facebook trying to educate people, telling people that there is something that you can achieve. Yeah. Because he, he saw that people were not busy with one, two, three. Then he could get attention of, of some of us yeah. to say it's something that we call it, we can invest into property and it went very good for many of of us around the country because I think he, he went from maybe 2,000 followers to like 36,000 followers in, yeah. in, in, in less than six months because mm. people were taking advice from, from him, him. Mm. he ended up writing a book uh, that book, it's on his Facebook page, with Nasum Daga. Mm. You can follow him. You'll get so much information about what we learned exactly. from there. Mm. Because I wanted to find out, you keep saying when you started your property journey that you didn't know enough yet. Yes. And I wanted to find out what were your sources? How did you teach yourself how to be a better property investor? You know, how to be a smart in property You know, property I investor. teached myself very hard. Because... Eh? Mm. Uh, what happened, we decided we were moving, we want to move from Philip Nail. Mm. Then we started looking around, looking for a house, we got one. After getting one, then we had to start with the renovations immediately. Right. Because you know the processes of the house, even though it was a little bit longer, mm. but we know it was going to happen. The renovations, I think I shared with you the pictures for my renovations, mm. how they, they went through. You know, looking for a contractor to come and do that with no experiences. I thought I was having enough budget, yeah. 30000 or 35000 But overnight, that money within a week or two, it was all gone. Wow. Because the escalation cost. Because it's something that we are not experienced exactly, in. Exactly. Yeah. And I think normally you guys going to speak on the shows that get a professional, that they can... It, even if they are not going to give you a quotation that is 100%, mm. but it will all oh, it will 90, 95, or they can even add 20% more onto their qu yeah. quotation so that you don't you don't overspend. Mm. But yeah, that's that's the less the hard lesson that I learned because you just keep on going to the hardware stores and buying stuff. Mm. But yeah, because of, of the determination on and wanting to achieve that, and the little bit that I saved, yeah. I think that's where now. 
the assistant came from mm. for me to achieve the end goal. Exactly. And you know, I know that you said you were close to a lot of universities, especially. Yes. So you were, you, I think that that's a little bit, for me, I think it's a good, student accommodation is, is a path I've always wanted to take myself. Why did you, as Sammy, choose student accommodation particularly? You know, while I was busy renovating, I was thinking, of course, it's my, my area, it's, 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 it's the area is an advantage for working exactly. people and students. Mm. Uh, the way it is designed, is designed, even if the students are not there, I can always take on working people. Mm. It's either it's a sharing, we've got single rooms where we know that even if somebody who's working can come and look for room. Exactly. For a place to stay, for a rental, because it's like a multi let mm. They can come in, take a room. But for now, I prefer only students because I don't want to have mixed people in, in, this, one. in, in, one, in one place. Mm. I'm trying that. And even the pandemic has not been great to me mm. yet, but I know vaccination is on the card. I know by maybe 2022, 2023, things will be better. Yeah, I was actually about, my next question was, how did the pandemic affect, you know, your property journey? It's, it's just been tough, you know, students, they are not around, mm. they are learning online and stuff like that. But hopefully with the little that we have, because we do have those that are, uh, they want to be around, they didn't want to go home. Mm. Yes, at least they are assisting us to, to, to cover for certain things, mm. uh, the running cost of the property on its own. Because it's a cost on its own that you guys, you don't know about. There's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes. Exactly. You know, you, know, you, know, you, you wake up, you go to work. Coming back from work, there's a lot of their SMSs, there's this, there's this that just happened. Yeah. But because of I have somebody who, who's assisting me, but I'm lucky, yeah, it's mm. like a caretaker for the proper for, for, for the accommodation. Yeah. Then yeah, things are easy for me. Even if I'm not there, I cannot be there for like a month. Mm. It's always be gonna be around to sort out all the issues. You have someone you trust that's at your property to take care of it to if you're not it. there. Exactly. Not there. Besides that, I think it was gonna be a hassle. Because mm. mm. People do want to come and view the place. Of course. How will they get in yeah. if when you are held up into some, some other stuff? Exactly. I know that you're a strong believer in inspiring the youth and helping the youth, you know, achieve their goals. Yes. Um, my biggest question, especially because we have a lot of young people who watch the show, is would you encourage other young people to also take that leap of faith to invest in student accommodation? Particularly student. Yes, but you know, the most important thing for a young person to come up with, there are many business ideas that they can come up with. One of them could be property. Mm. I will say to them, do your own research. Mm. That's what is important. Learn as much as possible. So that, uh, try to find out if the, 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 the market is not overpopulated. Because right. you will think there are enough, you will think there's, there's, there, there are beds that mm. people still need. But right. once you get in there, you will find no. The mm. market is it's, it's, it's full already. You know, universities, you need to register with NESFAS. You need to do this. You need to do yes. this. And it's not easy to go through that, hey? Like myself, I'm running them privately, so, mm. individually, so, mm. charging them, paying them monthly. But it's not an easy exercise also. Because, exactly. you know, somebody can just give you an SMS to say, I'll pay you on the 17th. Yeah. And, and, and because of they are there, yeah. you can't say no to them. You, mm. need to be, you need to understand the situations of people. It's not like you're working with a company or something like that. Exactly. You need to you, trust that they you, will pay on you, the 17th. You need to trust. And so that they won't, they won't, you won't, they won't come back and find them gone. Mm. And you know, sometimes as a, as, a, as, a, as a property investor, you need to be patient. Mm. You need to have goals. And you need to, just, you won't achieve things overnight. Right. That one is not possible. You need to be patient. Patience is, and do, and I'm still learning a lot from this, eh? Because mm. I think also understanding the tenants, because the good one will leave you. There will come a, a, a different tenant where you will always now need to be in the property all the time. But you also learn them and you show them what kind of a person you are. Wow. Mm. Then they will all, then they will start doing the things that you want them exactly. to, how, 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 how you want things to happen in your, in in your, your property. Yeah. In you property. spoke a lot about how the pandemic, you know, could have affected you. And um, obviously no one expected this pandemic, especially for the property market. Mm. Um, and you spoke about a lot of lessons that you've learned and things that you went through. But mm. what was your most important lesson that you learned when investing in student accommodation? You know, you will think 
student will want to do, you, you'll do the building, the building will be ready. Yeah. Then the student will come viewing the place. That's where now you start hearing certain concepts how the student want the place to be. Mm. They will ask you, where's the microwave? Mm. Where is the fridge? Yeah. Where is the... Nah, um, they want to come empty-handed. They want to come with the luggage. Yeah. They want to find everything there, there mm. in the property. Mm. They don't want you to just give them an empty space, but another empty space but now they need paid. They yes. just need they, they need everything ready, curtains, everything. Mm. You know, then for me to go out there for shopping for that now, mm. for something that I wasn't ready for. for. Mm. You know? Mm. Something that I wasn't not even thinking. Because yeah. now I'm thinking I'll just get tenants that they will buy things themselves. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> then and it's extra money that you are not even exactly. so it's not even budgeted for. Exactly. And you charge you 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 put an amount for the price that you think, then you start looking in your neighbors who are doing the same business mm. as you. Because also it's competitive business exactly. around where, where where they are students. Then you'll need to meet the standard and also the price range needs to be mm. almost the same. Because People are, and you start seeing what now here I'm not making the money that I was thinking. Because exactly. the money will always be there on the spreadsheet, but you won't see it in the bank. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you'll do your budget plan, mm. you'll do what you think you're going to receive, but then it actually doesn't always turn out yes, that way. Yes, because of also the pandemic on mm. its own. Exactly. It's, a, it's a different story. But yeah, students they are fun working with, and you are sure their parents are going to pay. It's not like they are not going to pay because they are sending them to school. Mm. It's not like maybe somebody who's working. If you don't have money, you don't have money. Of course. But the parents, when they are home, back home, they will fight for their kids to pay rent. And shelter money. is very important. And we always talk about this, you know, and what mother or father is going to send their mm. child out to go study and not make sure that they don't you have shelter. So that's also very important. So you're right. So I also wanted to find out, so you spoke about the biggest lessons learned. Maybe before you even started your journey, I'm sure there were some mistakes. <laughs> a lot of mistakes, eh? You know, you, you know what I did? I think the biggest mistake that I did mm. it was when we started with some of renovations because we had a double garage that we changed, we turned in, mm. into single rooms. Then we got a contractor where somebody just came and look and look. You don't know whether somebody's a professional or they... Mm. But they will guarantee you that they have done this before. Two minutes down the line, not even the half of the job is not done, the money yeah. is done. The material that is bought... It's not enough, mm. you know. Then I've learned to like get work with professionals into mm. construction and be involved, be involved as much as possible. I know it's not easy for them, for some people that are working, but try to be involved as much as possible so that you can understand where is your money going. Mm. You can, cause that's, cause at the end of the day, it's all about the funds that, cause you'll you'll have an empty shell that is not complete, cause they will break it down to mm. say we are starting to 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 do construction. Mm. And I was about to ask what your biggest lesson learned from those mistakes were, and it's of course to have this powerful team and a trustworthy team, right? Yes, this, the, there was one guy that mm. it's, we worked cause because of the pandemic, mm. we had time. Uh, there was one friend of mine that I called in to come and assist me. We worked together throughout some of the things. I had to start doing them myself. Paintings, he's good with hair welding. I called him in. We started doing butler, uh, butler doors and everything with him. Mm. He said, no, certain things. He said, no, Sam, you don't need to hire somebody. I'll do this, I'll do this. And because of, of seeing him on what he wanted to help me achieve, because he saw what other people did to me, yeah. then it was easy for me now to fall for everything. We worked we worked day and night. Mm. We On Monday to Sunday, we were... We were busy painting, we're doing this. And yeah. at the end product, I'm telling you, it was a wonderful uh, uh, experience. Result, yeah. And, and now the results does, were, were, were perfect. Mm, doesn't it get difficult though? Because, you know, not every property journey, uh, let's say my, my plan is to get into student accommodation. And then I do get into a situation where I get the wrong contractor or someone comes and they take my money and they run. And then you were lucky enough to be in a position where you could go to your property yourself, mm. go paint it, go do what you needed to do, go everything. Mm. But now what if I'm in a position where I'm working a nine to five Monday to Friday? Yeah, that's why now, that's why you need to get professional. Yeah. The advice for me, get a professional. But it doesn't mean also the professional do make mistakes of and course. they run away. But get somebody who has been there, done that before. 
and maybe even software. see the work that they've done yes, before. Go around. References. Now, nowadays, we've got websites, we've got mm. Facebook pages, mm. and look for, let's say, maybe want to do an accommodation. Go and look for somebody who did that before. Right. I think the experience will always make a difference into you achieving your goals. Mm. Earlier you spoke about having a budget plan and having the breakdown and you know writing down maybe your ROI, what you think you're going to get and it doesn't always turn out that way. No, <laughs> no, not I, at all. Really? Not at all. Let's say maybe for, 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 for an equipment sake you have mm. 70,000 budgeted for the job. Mm. I think for me with the experience that I've always got, have a 20,000 that Ex is sitting mm. extra to come in after the 70,000 yeah. is finished. Because you won't finish the job without that. And with the accommodation, don't forget, the budget it will be for the construction. Right. You still need to have a budget mm. for buying the, the, the furniture. furniture after, yeah. After. And let me tell you something. It's not a furniture is not cheap. Not at all. But I used, I found out, I used a way that it assisted me a lot. Yeah. In 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 in, in searching for 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 for, for like uh, new second hand stuff. Mm. In the pandemic, people were selling things so that they could had other things going. Yeah. Then I went in. I bought those kind of stuff. Chairs that have been sh were were sold online. Desks that were sold were being mm. sold online. And and fridges that were still in good conditions. I got them. Then you see now. I that's why I I I I my cost were lesser there. Exactly. Then that's that's the strategy that I used. Yeah. And it worked for me. Sammy, also, you now sound like you know exactly what students want. I know. What You've been in this long enough to understand. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think I know what they want. I think what 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 my 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 goal one day is to maybe have a a place where we can accommodate if not 50 beds, 100 beds. Yeah. I think I can run that. That's amazing. Yeah, no. I think I can run that, but yeah, I think that's where now you you know we haven't talked about the rates and taxes. Mm. I think those are the most important thing. Mm. You need to try to use green energy. Try to put in solar geysers because the electricity it's a little bit expensive. Of course. And students are always online. You know, we always need to be online. Yes. As students. So yes, you're right. There's, there's electricity costs will be Yes, electricity costs is more. Cause they, don't forget, after this one, take a shower in the morning. They will want to take a shower in the evening. Yes. And a geyser is the thing mm. that is going to chow, uh, chow, chow, chow the most of the electricity yeah. in the house. Then if you use your solar geysers and stuff like that, mm. then you know your costs are, are going to, you know, you, you'll have maybe 40% less of the amount of the electricity that you had to use right. in your properties. Water, you can't run away from it. But speak to them that if you take your shower, don't sit there like, because yeah. there are certain things that are, I'm paying for, because sometimes you'll see a bill coming, 5,000 a month, only water. Yeah. Then you, you speak to your people, because even at home, you tell them, even at home, if a bill like this can come, your yeah. parents are going to not be happy with you. Mm. You see. But it's also difficult also to... Also responsibility. It's like yeah. telling them to be responsible citizens yeah. also. Because we don't, we know South Africa is a scared. You become their scarce. father away from home. Hey, you know what I mean? When now you have <laughs> kids. <laughs> if you have got around nine Student students, Dogo, yeah, you become their father. A, you've got nine kids <laughs> that you need to run. <laughs> and you need but to... Even, 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 even if they are working people, mm. they will end up being your kids. Eh? Mm. Even if they are older than you. <laughs> Your tenants become your children. Mm, but the, the experience on its own, it's mm. something that is out of this world, mm. I'm telling you. I wanted to ask you a, a question, uh, you know, um, about if I, to, or to people watching at home, if they are ready to take that leap of faith into student accommodation. So the solid returns that you get. So the return well, on investment. Let's okay. talk about that, Sam. Okay. The returns, to be honest, on the spreadsheet are there. Mm. But because of the pandemic now, of course. things are not looking very good. Of but course. I believe it's something that somebody can work around. Mm. Somebody can, I think, with the pandemic, gave us enough time to prepare ourselves for when the schools start going back to normal or at a full-time basis. I think we're going to be ready for them mm. to say the accommodation is there, everything is there. Because, you know, when you do your calculations, you, when you do your taxes, your waters and electricity and whatever the costs that are going to be involved, you see the returns are not as bad. Because it's like a multi -lets. Yeah. Imagine if you are charging one, for an example, 900 rand, <coughs> and you've got around 14 students in, 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 a, in, a, in a, your accommodation. Yeah. 
because the rooms are big and stuff like that. Some they are going for sharing, mm. some they don't like sharing, then we charge them for, for single. But you'll, their returns will always be there. Exactly. I won't lie to you. Yeah. It's better than, and you know, one thing I like, even if one student can move, yeah. you know by month end, can you move have out. Another, you have mm. another. No, not exactly that. Mm. You'll still have, let's say maybe you had, you had 10 students, you'll have nine that will pay you. Oh, I see It's what not you mean. like when you have a single house where it's a rented by a single person. Yeah, they leave if, you if they leave you, yeah. For three months, you'll 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 you'll, you'll struggle. Mm. Eh? For three months, let's say maybe you're paying an installment for like four five thousand. Imagine you are paying four five thousand plus the thing that people they don't uh, budget for the mm. rates and taxes. Yeah, and the rates and taxes now at this rate, you saw how electricity went up around sixteen yeah. percent. The water is up now. You see, and everything went up through the municipalities. Mm. Uh, now we are looking at around. Uh, Maybe rates in Texas around 900, then electricity only, you know. Yeah. You see now, you need to cover those costs. That's right. Those true. costs <laughs> need to be involved. But and with the... Don't forget, again, you don't have a tenant. Yeah. It needs to come from you. Mm. And it's I very was... important to save whatever money that you are getting. It's not like the money you need to just chow it exactly. overnight. Exactly. No. But like you're saying, if you still have the nine students left, you're able to, you know, let's say mm. your rates and taxes or whatever is 5,000 mm. rand. With the nine students right. you have left, you yes. might only be taking a 500 or 1,000 mm. out of your own pocket mm. because mm. of that one you lost. Yes. And I think, yeah, you answered my question. I feel like student accommodation is definitely um, not an easier way to go into property, but it, for me, I feel like it's a little safe. Yeah. Also, don't forget, they, there will be maybe one or two months in a year of course. that you won't have students. Of course. It's like a 10 months business. Mm. Then, but now, go home, yeah. those, those two months that it gives you time also to come and do some little bit of renovations here and there. Exactly. You see where, what is needed for you to sort out. Mm. Then you'll see everything it's, mm. it will be ready for you exactly. when they come when they come back they will find and you know paints are not expensive man i think even if you can buy five liters of paint mm. you can just fix the mistakes that the other students before they you left had the, uh, they they've made you mm. see and be, be willing to do to to, to do things yourself mm. so that you can also save costs i exactly. know people they don't have time then but okay then then have somebody who you trust mm. and i think one thing i've learned is especially you know coming from student accommodation myself Living in student accommodation, mm. not owning, mm. yeah, no, <laughs> not <sorry>. yet. <laughs> um, you know, coming from that journey myself, living in communes, living in not necessarily living off campus mm. was mm. what mm. I did, right? I didn't live at res, mm. so I was living in private. You know, I had landlords like yourself, yes. and I think what's so important. Yes, we might only have a small budget of we can only pay three thousand a month, but mm. we're so picky. You know, mm. so if I do see a scratch on the wall or if I do see something, I'm going to be mm. like, OK, I know that it's within my budget, but I am sure I can find something better. And then I go next door mm. or I go to up the road mm. because you're right. It's such a, a, a it's a competitive market. Mm, competitive it really markets. is. And one of my questions, I don't know, maybe if you can answer this is what do what would you say are like top locations for student accommodation? Of course, being close to a university is prime Loc is the prime number one locations factor. for me, I think. Uh, Jobek, I think the inner city is next to Vets. Yes. I think, yeah, people can look into that. Mm. Town, Pretoria, there are a lot of private universities, private colleges, TVET colleges for government. There is universities, Swan University of Technology. There is Hetfield, mm. uh, Tekis, they call it Tekis, University of Pretoria. There is UNISA. Mm. I think Gauteng, uh, mm. Tswane, and... Johannesburg, the city uh, of top Vendor. locations, yeah, yeah. top locations. But I had a Kuruleni. There's 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 plans to build a university. I think people need to start doing research no. to know where is the university gonna be mm. before the prices of the properties next to that university mm. start skyrocketing. That's very true. So now we need to take that into consideration. They need to take Do that. your research before. Yes, I think check. also like where where is this place, Giani? I think mm. the the College of Giani. So and he's taking it over hopefully by 2023. Okay. By 2023, 2024, the year 2020, the university will start taking in students and stuff like that. People need to start looking at that to see if maybe they cannot take advantage of it mm -hmm. now, buy land, start building slowly on your own pace. Exactly. Then, and, but look at, will the university have enough accommodation and stuff like that? Yeah. So that 
it's, an, it's a business opportunity because mm. we know people now are losing jobs left, right, and center. We need to advise each other on what is the next, where is the next payment going right. to come from. Exactly. So I, I like what you said about doing your research and especially a lot of people when they come onto the show, they talk about before you, and we know location is important, mm. before you even invest in a property, do your research on the entire location as well, right? Mm. Yes. I wanted it's to find out, yeah. very important. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, how important do you think it is for the youth to be knowledgeable or to invest in generational wealth and financial freedom? Yo, I think it's, 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 it's very important, eh? They, the thing is, at certain age, you feel you, you've outgrown certain things in your life. Mm. And with the investment that you started earlier, they will come in hand mm. in your life. Because you, you will find you, you have, let's say, maybe you've got 20,000, 30,000 that is saved. That maybe you, you want a property somewhere. And that property that you want, it needs renovation. Yeah. You see, it will come in hand. You need to invest. Mm. You need also to not forget to invest in yourself while you are still young. True. Don't say maybe after finishing your university degree or continue studying so that you could equip yourself more. But yeah. You know, you know, now I normally say to people, you want a GTI? Yes, buy a GTI. It's, it's a must. It's where it's, you, are, you are growing. You, must, you need that luxury yes. so that you can also experience certain things. Mm. But when you pay the GTI 8,000, make sure that there's a thousand rent or 500 rent that you are saving every month that right. one day is going to look after you. Mm. You'll see the need to have that money one day. Mm. And Many people, they don't understand the need. Because for now, yes, it's all fun, 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 all nightclubs and everything. Mm. But after a certain time, you'll be surprised when some of your P friends I say, I have 250,000 in the bank. And when, when you look at it, you can only show us something yeah. that is five years old, a car mm. that has lost value. Mm. And just before, this, you, just before we even started shooting, you spoke about how important it is to save in your 20s. Mm. And um, did you start saving in your 20s? Uh, what happened, because I lost my mom at mm. an early age. I think certain stages I just jumped in to be a parent, of course. to look after my siblings, mm. you see. Then on, on, on its own, with the little bit that our parents left us, mm. it was easy for some other stuff to happen in our lives. Right. Then the hardest thing was leaving home mm. to come into Pretoria, mm. to starting a different journey. That journey, when it started, it, it started like a, I was playing, to right. be honest. Because I said to my aunt, now I'm going to Pretoria now. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I cannot make something, something. out of myself. Mm. And I got here. It wasn't an easy ride, to mm. be honest. It wasn't an easy ride. But with determination, dreams, decision making is also important. Because you can get here and befriend people that they will just want you to go out, have fun yeah. every day. You will find peace jobs here and there. Mm. But when you do that, make sure that the little money that you are having, save it so that you can have goals, have exactly. friends. I, I went, I wanted to study one, two, three, then go to school. Mm. I remember there, there were some, some things that I want to study, I want to do this, I want to do this. Mm. And at the end of the day, those things, they played the important role to be where I am today. Exactly. Because you, you'll meet friends that also have goals. Yeah. That's where now you start thinking, well, people are, are thinking this big. <laughs> then why not, why why, not me? Well, exactly. Then that's where now. Mm. I, I, I think I've, 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 I've grown so much so that, yeah, come, let's make business. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of friends that I want. Mm. And I like that you said determination. It's so important. I feel mm. like determination is what we need. And I'm sure there are people in their 20s now who we're still in a phase where, unfortunately, we still can't save. You know, black tax is a thing for us. Mm -hmm. um, raising our family because we might not, you know, we've lost the parental figure in the home. And this is the life of some people watching the show currently. And what's so important is I love that you said and that you were honest that maybe you didn't start saving immediately, but it's your circles and your networks and your people around you that start encouraging you. And I think that we need to try our utmost best to even if it is just a 500 rand a month or whatever the case may be is. And I know before the show, we spoke about investing in other things, <laughs> which we won't talk about. But I mean, invest in other things. In you're fast, you're just, different. Just, just even in the bank, just yeah. open a 32 days notice, put money there. Something. Just save something. Because yeah. you know, 
with all these properties that we are talking about, mm. people they know, they know cause they if for those that have been listening to the shows, there are extra costs that we, we we need to pay lawyers this much. You need to pay this. You need to do this before mm. everything before the property is in your name. Mm. You know, and that's a lot of money also um, that is not budgeted for. Exactly. You can't just say you want this property. Mm. Then after some time they said you you see an invoice coming from a lawyer. 29,000 that is needs to be paid yeah. for, for a property. And don't forget, you are still going to pay the property for the next 20 years. Exactly. And you already lost 29,000. Exactly. <laughs> you need to be ready for these you things. Need to, you need to be ready for these mm. things. And you know, sometimes qu cutting costs, you know, the, there will be some, they will tell you there's 4,000 that if you can pay this one cash, yeah. if it's not included into your monthly installment. Have the, that 4,000 that you can pay cash. Yeah. So that it's, in a long run, the 4,000 plus 7% uh, 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 interest rate by 20 years. Yes. And don't forget, it's 12 months by 20 years. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a lot. Mm. It's a lot. Way longer, that 4,000, it can go up to maybe 250,000. Mm. Exactly. You see, that's why now it's very important to save so that the cost that you can cut, even paying the deposit, mm. it will assist you. And with the 250,000, you can go buy another property. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are properties in inner city like now yeah. that are going around two hundred and fifty thousand. Mm. People must take advantage of those properties. One hundred percent. They must cost that property. If you can look at what the interest rate now, you will end up paying around one thousand five hundred um, installment. It's crazy. It's 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 nothing. It's money that you can just go and eat <laughs> in a nightclub in a night. Very true. Very true. <laughs> Even see? more sometimes. Mm. Thank you so much, Sammy. Um, just before we close off, I know that you know we we call this the super fan edition, where okay. we bring you onto our show, and we're very excited. I want to find out from you just to close off the show. Three most important lessons that you've learned from watching all our podcasts, and how you are encouraging people around you to be who you are, or to do what you're doing? Private property, I've learned a lot. Mm. There's one thing that I've always seen on private property website, houses, mm. Mm. beautiful houses. Those houses are inspiring. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to drive to these locations to go and see these houses. Mm. They are just a click of button mm. away to see how people are living. Yeah. People are rich out there. <laughs> Look at those prices it's of money. those houses. <laughs> exactly. And you see a 15, 000, 15 million rent house. Yeah. You ask yourself, is this person going to buy it on installment or buy it cash? <laughs> you see, it's a motivation. It's what I've just learned. True. Mm. Don't limit yourself. Mm. Limitless. Be a limitless person. Mm. So that this thing can happen to me also one exactly. day. Exactly. And you'll be shocked when it happens to you, okay? Yeah. You'll, 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 when you get a phone call from the bank to say, you have approved you, you'll be like, hi, but is this, you'll even <laughs> want to pinch yourself to is say, it real? is it real me? That's the first yeah. lesson. Be limitless. Mm. Nothing can, nothing's going to stop you. Mm. Number two, what I've learned is you need to work around with people. You need to take advices. Yeah. You can, don't make decisions alone. Mm. There are people who know better than you. Of course. And my friend is Google, eh? Yeah. People, they don't know that my friend is Google. And the, ah, the, third, the third most important thing that I learned mm. from private property, things can just happen for you. Mm. You know, we used smartphones. People, they don't know that a smartphone is the most powerful tool that was ever given to us. Yeah. All this knowledge on the knowledge. Uh, on the I don't everything. know who came up with that, but I think that person. I think I must just meet the person yeah. who came up with the smartphone. Because eh? <laughs> everything, everything is, is right everything is right there. Mm. We need to take advantage of it. Mm. If it wasn't a smartphone, we didn't have a show like Samas show. We didn't yeah. have a show like your show. Yeah. We didn't have anything that is happening to us like now. Mm. Information now can just circulate overnight. Yeah. And we need to take advantage of that as people. Mm. living in, 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 in a country like this Exactly. One. And you can literally, you know, I know, I like how you say Google is your friend, um, but like even on, you know, the shows, you can mm. ask these questions, mm. you, speaking to professionals, you know? You, you know. you are now classified a professional, Sammy, <laughs> in student accommodation, because you're here. You, you, imagine. You are, I can just go <laughs> Not imagine. <laughs> you are here. I'm here. You know, you know? you're learning mm. lessons every day. You're growing mm. in this industry. So you, you now, grow. you've given so many other people mm. advice. And through a smartphone. I yeah. never believed in a smartphone before, I yeah. want to tell you. 
I, I never believed in a buying smartphone that has so much memories. I just thought even if it's 18 gig, it's enough. Yeah. But <laughs> now the way the these things, yeah. uh, what, you, what you call the, the updates, mm. this, 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 this YouTube channels, this what, you need to download this, you need, you need to have a, some, a phone that is going to assist you yeah. so that you can be able to take, look, the app Facebook. Yeah. Today, I'm next to you talking to, to you now. <laughs> so, through just what? A simple yeah. thing, a smartphone. Yeah. Then that's the lesson learned from me to say, guys, let's mm. take advantage of these things that mm. are being given to us for free. And use it. And to use it. Grow ourselves, to grow like you ourselves. said. Or our businesses, whatever the case may be. Uh, if, if I need an app mm. for my business, I'll go for it, I'm telling you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sammy. I think that um, my biggest lesson that I'm taking from here, from the show, especially talking to you, sitting down, talking, a privilege actually, you know, mm -hmm. um, is genuinely determination, you know, looking at where you've come from, looking at where you're going. Mm -hmm. I want to close off with my one last question to you is, does Sammy's journey stop at student accommodation? <laughs> I mean, Sammy's looking at 50 million rand houses, so it can't. It, 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 it shows, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's not that. Mm. Investing. Yeah. I'm trying to learn how to invest. I've, as I just said, people need to take advantage of what is happening now mm. with the smartphones that we are having. Let's learn how to invest. Let's put money where it's supposed to be. It, I know people, they, they will say, hi, now I'll rather go and buy a beggar. Yes, buy a beggar, but make sure with that beggar that you bought, save something, buy a yeah. share, buy something. Yeah. Do something with your money that one day you know is going to come in hand for you. Mm. Even if I can pass away. Then it was a will week, I think, the past week. Mm. National will week yes. where you can just get in anywhere and uh, a draft a will oh, for free. Mm. With those investments that you made, make sure that people, generations after you, can survive through that. Yeah, That's what is happening. People that have started businesses that are still on... 100 years later, mm. you will see somebody will say KFC is 100 years old. Yeah. Meaning that business, it has just been there forever. And generations of generations and generations, it's a legacy for the family exactly. of Kentucky Fry <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. You yeah. see now? Yeah. That's what we need to leave. Mm. And it's a wheel. Mm. Nothing will ever change. Exactly. Even if now the business is being franchised, and everything, but there are realities that are being paid for. Yeah. For the kids. Exactly. They don't even need to go to school. Eh? They don't. But, but, they, they do, but, but their education, we know, is the powerful tool. Exactly. So that also they can improve mm. the business of through course. the technologies exactly. that are happening now. The first industrial revolution. Let's take advantage of that. Mm. Thank you so much, Sammy, for coming out and joining us on the show. Thank you. And I think the biggest lesson that I'd like to leave us with this evening is definitely determination. Go out there and leave your legacy. Take care, stay safe. We'll see you guys again next week, Wednesday, live at 8 p.m. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Take care.